Hello, hello, it's Thumplet here. Welcome to a collaboration project between Thumplet and Cities Mathverse on Hong Kong International Math Olympiad questions. For this one, if rational A, B, C, D satisfy A plus B square root of 3 plus C square root of 5 plus D square root of 15 equals 1 all over 1 plus square root 3 plus square root 5, find the value of A plus B plus C plus D. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now essentially, we have uh, this expression on the right is equal to this when expressed in uh, a more simple term, which means, well, we're motivated to uh, rationalize this because here we have a, uh, an ugly fraction. So let's try to rationalize that and see what, we'll, uh, see what we can get. So let's try to rationalize the, uh, right, the right-hand side of the given equation. Now, I'm going to group the 1 and the square root of 3 together so that uh, it's going to be like one term. And then I'm going to rationalize part of the denominator. So essentially, I'm just doing 1 plus square root of 3 plus 5. So let's take the conjugate of that. It's going to be 1 plus square root of 3 minus square root of 5. So let's multiply uh, that to the numerator and denominator. The denominator will be simplified. We can just use the difference of squares formula. So 1 plus square root of 3 quantity squared minus square root of 5 squared, which is just 5. So uh, the, the denominator uh, is simplified. Now let's try to expand this to simplify this further. 1 plus square root of 3 quantity squared, that's equal to 4 plus 2 square root of 3. So 4 plus 2 square root of 3 minus 5. Essentially, this is just equal to 2 square root of 3 minus 1. So more on this in a bit. And then for the numerator, well, it's just 1 times 1 plus square root of 3 minus 5. So 1 plus square root of 3 minus 5 it is. Now, we're not yet done since it's not yet uh, simplified. We're going to do one more rationalization. Now, this time to this expression. Now, this is uh, a more simpler case now. Uh, a simpler case now. So we multiply 2 square root of 3 plus 1, the conjugate of 2 square root of 3 minus 1, to both the numerator and the denominator. The denominator is uh, more simple than the numerator. So for the denominator, it just becomes 2 square root of 3 quantity squared, which is just 12, minus 1 squared, which is just 1. So 12 minus 1, the denominator is actually just 11. Now let's focus on the numerator now. We have to distribute, uh, we have to multiply this and that. So let's, let's multiply 1 and distribute it to this. Distributing 1, we're going to get 2 square root 3 plus 1. Now next, distributing the square root 3. It's going to become uh, plus 6 plus square root 3. And lastly, distributing the minus square root 5 over here. It's minus 2 square root of 15 minus square root of 5. Now let's collect like terms. Uh, the 1 and the 6 here uh, becomes 7. So we have 7 so far. And then the 2 square root 3 and the square root 3 here gives us 3 square root 3. And the other 2 over here, um, it's already in simplest terms. So we have this. So I'm just going to remove this for now. And we're just going to have this all over 11. Now, since we have this, we can uh, split it into four fractions, which is going to be just 7 over 11, plus 3 squared 3 over 11, minus squared 5 over 11, minus 2 squared 15 over 11, as you can see here. Now, if you go back to the given expression, or sorry, given uh, the given, we have a plus b squared 3, plus c squared of 5, plus d squared of 15, which is, as we can see here, we can easily say that, okay, this will be the a, and then 3 over 11 here should be the b. Technically, uh, here we have negative 1 over 11 for a uh, value of c. And lastly, we have technically um, negative 2 over 11 over here as the value of d. So we have 7, squared, sorry, 7 over 11, plus 3 over 11, plus negative 1 over 11, plus negative 2 over 11. Combining all of them, we're going to get the answer to be 7 over 11. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!